So please uh, now let me welcome to the stage the Vice President of Marketing for PAR, Kevin Jelskalka. How you doing? So how are you? I'm doing great. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. So, um, you know, there's lots of things obviously going on at PAR. Yep. And um, cloud, mobility, the internet of things, uh, and data are your, your top initiatives. I think it's something that you guys have been pushing now for several years. So are you able to expand on, on where it is today and where it's going? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, last year we announced the acquisition of Brink. We had just come out with tablets. And uh, you start looking at PAR and what we've been doing. And I've been with the company now for about a year. Uh, it's not a registered company. It's not a POS company. There's a lot more going on. And what's been really exciting is being able to bring these, these solutions and, and technologies to the table as restaurants get out of technologies that got to have it and more into a competitive advantage in a, in a way to uh, find strategic advantage in, in their business. So Brink has been great in terms of cloud POS, and we've added a lot of great logos this year. Uh, looking at IoT, Internet of Things, uh, SureCheck Advantage completely fits that definition. When you look at something that needs a sensor, it needs compute power, it needs an application in a data center, our food safety solution meets all that and gets us out of the, the analog play of using a thermometer and pen and paper and digitizing that and making it completely visible in terms of food safety to the entire organization. You know, I always found that interesting that people would probably view PAR as a, as a point of sale company, uh, both on hardware and the application side, but, but it's a food safety company. Is there some reason why that's a passion of the company, how, how that fits into the yeah, overall absolutely. long term? Uh, Importantly, because it can kill people if you don't have it. So food safety is vital to us in terms of the way we look at restaurant and even retail from the grocery side as a, as a holistic approach. Uh, really, it also, if you look at what PAR does, it takes analog processes and digitizes them, whether that's POS, whether that's food safety, uh, and really making that uh, a much better, leaner, more efficient, and more data visible information action oriented uh, do you process. see all that integrating together into the traditional PAR systems that you're offering in the industry? Does it tie in? It's something we're looking at. You know, data is its own piece is, is nice, but really you want to build from information and, and be able to connect the dots, right? Understand what patterns are. And that's what PAR has been doing since 1968, pattern analysis and recognition. So one of the things we're looking at is how we take things like food safety, the kitchen piece, loyalty, food and uh, point of sale and bringing those all together and understanding what it means holistically to the business. Well, also, you know, you are a hardware company too, a global hardware company, and here at the show you're actually introducing uh, the EverServe 8000. So do you want to just give us some words about that? Absolutely. So uh, EverServe 8000, new generation terminal that we've launched at FS Tech, uh, represents our eighth generation product with over 35 years of POS hardware experience built in. Uh, we're looking at four main things here that's really cool about it. First is the performance. We did a lot of co-engineering with Intel to use their most uh, current or their, their new generation uh, processors and chipsets. And then looking at how that helps us jump into a uh, leading position in terms of performance, but also energy efficiency. Uh, next is customer engagement. All these POS terminals look like giant podiums. And that really makes it hard to have a good conversation with a customer. So using the Intel technology, we were able to build a very small form factor uh, device and then being able to raise and lower the screen to have better customer engagement uh, with the operator to the, to the customer. Third piece is flexibility and connectivity. There's a really cool story there, but it's going to be too long to tell on this stage at this point right. of time. So I'd invite everybody to come down, visit us in booth 401 to see what we've done and, and improve there. And lastly, manufacturing. Part of the reshored manufacturing of the EverServe 8000 in the US will be designing, developing, and building inside of uh, our headquarters in New Hartford, New York. And I did find it very interesting, though, a year ago when you announced the Brick, uh, the Brink. Uh, acquisition, you know, I, I sort of thought, okay, so they're going to now head in the software and maybe the hardware business, maybe they've decided the hardware business is not, you know, the place to be going forward because certainly, you know, Brink was an open platform and there's a lot of options and things out there, but, but clearly you see that differently that, that there was a need that is not being met by the general or generic terminal market. Well, yeah, but it was a really an opportunity to take our experience and feedback from our customers and build a, build a better mousetrap. So that's, uh, that's what we've done there. But yes, PAR is very much a, a software, hardware, and solution services company. Now, uh, just back on the Brink thing, you know, Brink was a, a really big announcement for you guys, and you've just mentioned that you've acquired a lot of brands under it. You know, where does 
what, what is the update of Brink? Where does Brink go? Does it go global? What, what is the, the answer? Is Brink the going forward product? Brink is uh, rapidly expanding the U.S., and we're looking at international opportunities for it as well. Uh, you mentioned we, we have laid into a lot of logos, and it's been a, been a great year. Everything from a 1,200-plus uh, uh, site concept in the U.S. around hamburgers, and then also down to uh, customers who are only a handful of locations in site, but growing and expanding rapidly. Great. Well, listen, thank you. Before I turn it over to you for our next announcement, the one, the one thing that I'm sure that most of you actually don't know about Brink and that I learned last year was the founder of, of Brink actually used to work for Starbucks, if yes. I remember yep. correctly, right? Yep. So he was part of the team that developed Starbucks. So I find it actually very interesting that you're following up Howard here on the stage uh, from, the, uh, from that perspective. Timing, so let me go ahead and uh, turn it over to you, and you can go ahead and introduce today's speaker. So thank you. Thanks for your time.